Hello again, this micro lecture is on resonance. Alright, so let's imagine you're on a swing, um, or your friend's on a swing, and you're pushing your friend. If you time the pushes right, then each push is going to make your friend go higher and higher and higher on the swing. This is nothing new, this is basically just how swings work. Well, it's a good example of you being able to match the natural frequency of the swing's movement, meaning if you stop pushing, the person would naturally go at a certain frequency while they kind of slowed down eventually. Now, if you match this at the right time, then you're um, driving uh, that swing to kind of go higher and higher. You can think of it as constructive interference. You're kind of adding to the wave each time. Now, imagine you do this and it's um, not timed right. Then what happens, like in this scenario where you're pushing at the wrong time, then you basically are slowing the person down, or if it's really bad, you may even push them off. This is because your pushes aren't timed with the natural frequency of the swing. Um, and so it's a more destructive uh, interference or destructive example of that. So again, your friend doesn't get to go very high, or they basically just fall off. So when frequency, when your frequency matches the swings, we say this is an example of resonance. Really, any time you have one thing vibrating or causing a vibration, and it's matching the natural frequency something else wants to vibrate at, whether they're vibrating already or not, we say this is an example of resonance. And what happens is, is it causes the other thing to vibrate at its natural frequency. And those waves keep adding and adding and adding, and so it gets bigger and bigger and bigger in that sense, to some degree. There is sometimes is some dissipation and stuff like that. So the results of having two things resonating can be really fun, like a swing, or it can be kind of destructive such as uh, a wine glass, and if you play the correct note, so in other words, it's natural frequency, you can get a wine glass to shatter. This is if you imagine uh, opera singers singing and they get a glass to shatter, that's because they're playing the correct note. So I'm going to walk you through this video real fast. We'll watch it together, and then I'll, um, I'll let you just watch it on your own. So let's switch over real fast. Alright, so this is a little piece of paper right here, and the reason why it's there is just to show you that the glass is vibrating to some degree. And so as they play this note, we can see that the glass, even though it is glass, is vibrating. Now if they play this pitch loud enough, then the glass will eventually break. So there's an example of it breaking. And there's the glass in slow-mo, so you can actually see it in slow motion in a sense. And so um, this is because the sound is vibrating back and forth at just the right frequency to cause this glass to do this. Now, I'm going to stop talking, and oh, it's breaking right there. I'm going to stop talking, we're going to restart that video, and you can just watch it all the way through without me talking over it. So that's an example of resonance. So to summarize, resonance occurs when we drive or vibrate something at its natural frequency. Um, if we try to vibrate something at a different frequency than its natural frequency, or a multiple of that natural frequency, meaning we can, uh, originally we can drive this uh, wine glass at its kind of natural frequency, or you can go one octave above it or two octaves above it, and it'll still have similar results, maybe not quite as uh, destructive. 
But if you try and vibrate something at something different than its natural frequency or a multiple of that natural frequency, then nothing happens. Kind of boring. And this is why most of the time we don't see things that happen or destructive things in this sense. It's more of a rare occurrence. That's it for this one. Please go ahead and take care of your uh, bullet points, summary, and follow-up questions as necessary.